I'd better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. I'd better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Nothing like a refreshing shower. I almost feel awake. I'm as clean as a whistle. Time to get dressed.
I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. It's almost lunchtime. Grace and the kids will be back any minute. Maybe there's something on TV. I could just relax on the couch until Grace and the kids come back. I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. How about some music? Oof, it's stuffy in here. I should get some fresh air in the garden.
Plans are coming along nicely. Should be finished by Monday. Hey, take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, 10 years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. Ethan, <laughs> can you please help me? I'm coming. I've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? I made some pretty good progress. I've just got to work on a few more details and then I should be ready to present the plans to the client. Oh, I've got a billion things to do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. No problem, leave it to me. I wouldn't want to be responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. Finished. Now I can relax and seize the day. I don't know if I've already told you this today, Mrs. Mars, but I find you very attractive. You're not so bad yourself, Mr. Mars. I know what's on your mind, Ethan. But now is not the right time for it. 
shame. I've really got to focus on this party. We'll continue this little conversation later. Can I do anything to help? No thanks. I should be able to manage. When are Jason's friends coming? Oh, uh, about 2 p.m. Oh, God, I hope I'll be able to keep the situation under control. Not like last year. Did you find the present for Jason? Yeah, I uh, picked it up from the store this morning. Oh, we were lucky. It was the last one in stock. Jason looks happy. Yeah. It's hard to believe he's 10 years old today. It seems like only yesterday we were flirting in high school. I'm getting old, Ethan. She's more goddamn beautiful with every passing day. I think I'll go outside and play with the kids. That's it, I'm free as a bird. Hey, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat, because your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promise, Mom. Who wants to go first? Me first! No, me, me first! first. <laughs> Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. <laughs> okay, Sean, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> Jason, let's do the helicopter. Careful, hang on. Sean? Lunch is ready. I'll go get him.
Sean. What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. You know, Sean, there's some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. I know. Jason, 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 Jason. Jason, you really shouldn't wander off like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in Please, here. Please, Dad, can I have one? I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. Great! Hey, champ, what's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. It's really crowded in here. Keep the change. <sighs> it is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean, disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. Jason! 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 Quick, I... Jason! 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 Hey! Jason! 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 What now? Jason! Hey, what's the matter with you? Jason! 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 Jason!
Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Hey, what's the matter with you? Jason! 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 Fuck, I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose him! The red balloon! Follow the red balloon! Where is he? He must have gotten swept away by the crowd. I should never take...
Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. I'm late. Again. Heavy rain. It's been the same for weeks. I know he doesn't like being the last one left at school. Sean's waiting for me in the car. I better go back. Let's go back home. Seems like he doesn't really want to talk. I wrote a reminder note on the board in the kitchen. Grace has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Time for a snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. So, do you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know about you, your friends, how things were going. Nothing special.
Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. Sean's sneezing. I think he's catching a cold. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? I think we should just get right to it. Then it's done and out of the way. Now, get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. I've got a cold coming on. I'm gonna see if I can find some medicine for you. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. I think there's some medicine in the bathroom cabinet.
Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. Thanks, Dad. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh, yeah. I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming! Hey, Dad, I didn't know you could juggle. I haven't tried it in a long time. <laughs> you think you could teach me too? Sure, I'll show you if you like. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? All right, we'll wait a little before going to bed. But don't say anything to your mother, okay?
please stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Jason, tell me what you want to be when you grow up. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a fireman or an astronaut. Oh, wait, wait, I know. I'll be a dinosaur hunter. I'll make video games. And here's the most beautiful mother in the whole wide world. Well, Ethan, stop. Don't film me. You know I don't like it. Hey, Dad, <laughs> film me, film me. I'll show you how fast I can run. Yeah, me too, Dad. I can run really fast, too. <laughs> Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? All right, we'll wait a little before going to bed. But don't say anything to your mother, okay?
Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. My Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. No point in pushing it. She's not gonna tell me anymore. I didn't learn squat. Well, worth a try. I gotta get out of here. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit up. Oh!
I'll see you again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>